Today, I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite tools. So it's a little bit of a different video, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So first and foremost, my most important, I cannot live without, and I think most bakers would agree with me, is my turntable. Um, this spinning wheel, it makes a huge difference, but I have tried several of them that are, um, that they kind of stutter halfway, so then it makes it, when you're icing things, it makes it uneven. So one that spins perfectly smooth and is strong enough to hold very, very heavy cakes, it is my absolute lifesaver, always. Another thing that I found a couple of years ago at a cake show, I met the lady who invented this and um, it is called the Pro Froster. It is by far one of my favorite things and I have to say though, I have uh, my original one broke, but I tried uh, replacing it with some other ones that I found at the local store and none of them were the same quality as the original one. I do believe they sell it in Amazon and it makes an awesome difference because um, it just makes it faster. You can, you can make it uh, go to whatever height you need it to, and then it not only smooths the side, it also makes it uh, perfectly even all around. So, love this. Uh, the other one that I've had forever, and I love it, is my ribbon cutter. This thing is very special because you can adjust it to whatever size you want. Not only that, you can also change these wheels. So this one is like flat, so it can um, it will just cut smooth. So right now it would cut here, if I have it this way, it would cut three ribbons, a thin one and then two. They, they come, they're graduated. They come with um, how thick they are, how wide they are. So you can, you can size them whatever, if you want an inch thick, ribbon then you can size it perfectly it also has this really cool rings that uh, you can substitute the cutter one and it has like an edge so you can cut ribbons that have a different a different edge so this is really awesome it helps it saves me so much time when i am trying to cut ribbons and uh, stripes and make bows like i Oh, like I made in one of the videos that how to make a um, gift bow. So this is, this is really cool. The next favorite is the clay extruder. I love this thing. This makes cakes so much easier. It makes uh, working with fondant and gum paste so much easier because it comes with all these different attachments, like for tips, and then you can use this one for hair, you can use this one and twist it and it looks like, like a really nice uh, border on a cake and that has, you can cut little stripes, so endless, endless possibilities. I also, I've shown you on other videos how to make sprinkles with this one and how to make a rainbow with this clay extruder. Also easy to find. The only problem with this thing is that it does break very often, so I have to keep replacing it, but it's worth it. My other favorite thing that I found in a cake show a couple years ago is this, um, it is used to roll ribbon. When I have like larger cakes and I wanna use a ribbon all around the border, then you use this thing. It has several different attachments and you roll the ribbon all around it and then you can get close to the cake like this and then just sort of um, release the ribbon so you don't ruin it with your fingers and uh, make it all warped and stuff. So it comes with that attachment and it comes with a smaller one. So if you're working with smaller things, this attachment and um, I love it. The only problem with this thing is that I have no idea what it's called. So if anybody watching it knows the name of this, uh, please let me know because I would love, um, I would love to know. So those are it for the tools. So I also have found a couple of products that I wanted to tell you about because I really think they're life-changing in my work. So the Thai Loose Powder, if you don't know about it, get some because it makes it easy to work. Any color fondant that you have, you can make it into gum paste by just adding some of this and you just knead it into it until you get like the desired texture. Um, super easy, instead of coloring gum paste and then it comes all tacky and gooey and not not good. So the other product is this Wilton 
dab and hold. It is, I, I can be a little lazy. I don't feel, if I don't feel like making royal icing or mixing fondant with something so that to make some glue, this is always ready. I can use a teeny drop or I can use a whole lot, however much I need, but it's always ready. And they sell it everywhere. So it's, um, I really like it. I found this a couple of months ago and I have already gone through a whole bottle and more and uh, really like it. So. I hope these tips help you guys and I hope you enjoy this video. So please give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.